going to show you how to do some loose effect flowers. Just a very quick little demo. Um, I start, you need quite a big brush. It's not a huge one though. I'm using an eight. You need clean water. Some kitchen roll just in case. The colours I'm using are Cabazoli Violet, Deep Sap Green and Prussian Blue. I uh, might use a bit of Burnt Sienna as well. Those are all Daniel Smith's paints. Um, the paper is cold pressed 300 gram. Um, the flowers, I'm not using a reference photo. I'm just going to make them up as I go along. So I'm going to start by loading my brush with water. I'm just putting a little bit in where it might be the center of these flowers. Now I'm going to start with my blue and then the edges it's going to give a bit of a shape just by dabbing. And I might add a bit of the, the violet on the top just to mix it. Be scared of white space in your pictures. You can mix this. So I'm going to put one hanging over here. It's probably a bit dark, so I might just take a bit of that out. Just giving the impression of these flowers coming out. So a little flowers. And every now and again it will hit the water that you put in earlier. And you've just got to go with the flow. That might not have been where I meant that to go, but it doesn't matter. That's where it's ended up wanting to go. So Sometimes you've just got to embrace it. That needs a bit more of the purple. Balance it up a bit more. I'm doing this very quickly, but I might, I might take a little bit more care if I was um, wasn't doing it and showing you. But I'm going to take a smaller brush now and use a four and just kind of pull a bit and show where these stems might be might be going. We'll add some green in a minute, but the other thing we've got to do is give you, we're only going to give the impression of a vase. We're not going to actually draw the vase in. I might have to do it a bit darker than I would, just so that you can see it like that. Okay, so this is the vase, and then you can get a little bit of scrap. Paper. Find it there. Just so you 
get that straight edge like that and then round the other side you could just put some water and then you know maybe a different colour to give some shadow kind of not too wet it's kind of more of a dry green but then you'd get a bit thinner just to maybe you might want to put the stalks going into the jar slightly they're a bit heavy handed so I'll probably lift a bit of that up actually So the middle here could do with a little bit more definition. So I'm just going to stick a bit more of the green. And then I might put some more. It's not quite dry enough yet. I might want to wait until it's a bit drier before you add the rest of your detail. A little bunch of flowers in a vase very loose and very quick you can leave it to dry and then you could go in and do a little bit more detail but the softness of the vase works quite well I don't know if that's in focus in it but it gives quite a good effect um, yeah hope that was helpful